fact that she kills people, but that's a minor thing. We don't have to worry about that. But she's just sweet, and she loves everybody, and she just wants to take care of people. Oh, wow. Um, yes, I think she does, besides the whole murdering people thing. Actually, I don't know about that. But she's very maternal, and out of, you know, her and her sister, she's the one who takes charge and is a little bit more cunning, and I wish I could say that about myself, but I am kind of smart. So, yes, I do think this was the right character for me, and I'm very happy to have been cast as her. My character is pretty darn important because my name is at the top of that cast list, so <laughs> without the ants there would be no murders and no mayhem and no chaos, and that's kind of what makes the story and also kind of ruins everybody's lives. <sighs> I think it will go fine. Actually, to be perfectly honest, this is my favorite production I've ever been on. Small casts usually tend to do better. Um, it's just a really fun show, and everybody's been, in my opinion, perfectly cast. I think it's just, it couldn't get any better than it is. As much fun as you can during a play. <laughs> senior year and I was like god dang I want to be in another play because that's who I am and uh, when um, she actually approached me she's like hey I would like to consider you as one of the ants and it wasn't actually the role I wanted to go out for and then I was like no, maybe and then I ended up being cast as her so that's inspires me to perform on stage. I was a very shy child to get sentimental for a moment. And performing on stage is a way not to only to like relieve stress and tension and all of the worries of the day, but it makes me feel like I'm reaching out to people a little bit more than I would be just, you know, doing a Alright, so what's your name? Whitney Clean. I'm part of the prop crew. We help put up the props and make sure they're in the right places. That piece is a prop show. So it was really great to see how all of them came together. Plus, one of the cast members, I think Bob, she made a painting and it looks it's really accurate to all the other characters. What inspired you to want to join the production of Arsenic and Old Lace? Well, I love plays and I'd like to help out with that because I thought that it would I hope to. That, that would be really nice. <laughs> Who is your character? Describe them. Uh, I played this dude named Dr. Einstein. He's uh, the main accomplice of the, uh, the villain, Jonathan. He's um, Jonathan's plastic surgeon because Jonathan kind of travels all around the world, kills a bunch of people. It's just what he does. It's a villainous thing to do. Um, Einstein is just a dude that uh, kind of got roped into it. He started by giving Jonathan a new face so he could, you know, travel around undetected. But you know, it's kind of a doting wife kind of figure for Jonathan, and it's really fun to play that German doting wife. So. I'm not German, I'm not doting, and I'm not white, but um, he's a pretty fun character, very anxious guy, very panicky dude, he's always, uh, he always gets out of trouble, but he's always scared he's going to get into it, and that's a lot of fun, you know, he's always scared he's going a little bit too far, but, yeah, I'd say she, I'd say I'm really happy with the role, though, it's fun to play. Hey, he's fairly important, I mean, it's not a major role, but it's not exactly a bit role either. Oh man, that's not really smug. I'm sorry, we can cut the smugness out. But um, uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's it's it's like uh, I had a really good comparison and I totally lost it. But you know, oh wait, wait, okay, so if like Jonathan's Darth Vader, he uh, Einstein is like Boba Fett or Jar or Jabba the Hutt or something like that. So uh, so I'm like, I'm not like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm in there, and it's pretty sweet, and I got big hair, so that's fine. <laughs> Overall, how do you think this performance will do? Uh, oh, God, I'm just kidding. Um, no, um, I'm pretty happy with it. The hardest part has been doing the German accent, because uh, it's really easy to screw that up, so... Uh, I'm pretty confident with it. She casts this whole play very well. Like, 
I don't know, everybody's really getting into their characters, everyone's really enjoying it. It's a fun character for sure. Um, did you have... Uh, it was a little harder to rehearse this one and memorize the lines in other plays because most of the lines are um, replies to things other people are saying, so it's very hard to memorize it without um, having somebody else to say the other person's lines. So, And a lot of characters kind of tend to say the same thing five different times in a row, so that was difficult, but it's been, it's been a struggle to rehearse because I have a lot more lines than I usually do, so it's been a struggle to rehearse, but I'm really excited for it to come out. I've been excited to do this play since she announced it. I auditioned for all the plays, but this one in particular, um, I was actually going for the role of Jonathan when I first wanted to audition. That was the role that I really wanted, but when I read the script, and I, I heard that she wanted, she was, you know, kind of eyeing me to play Einstein, and I kind of thought, okay, that's not really the role I want, but I read the script, and I'm like, no, nah, this is the role I want, because it's, it's just a better role for me. Jonathan's a little too uh, deadpan, a little too scary, and it's... I don't think I do that role justice. I'm not intimidating enough, so. Um, what is um, God, for one, this costume. I'm having a blast with this costume, seriously. Um, another part. I got it in a second. You got it, baby. All right. Um, well, I'm digging being able to uh, have a flask. I play a, um, I play a drunk guy. Did I mention that? He's very alcoholic. It's how he copes with all the crap that Jonathan puts him through. And uh, pyrotechnics. I get to light a match, and that's a lot of fun. So. That's it's my favorite part of the play. <laughs> um, that what? and constantly talking like this is very fun. <laughs> yeah. Who inspires me? Oh man, that's, that's, oh, we're bringing it down deep. Um, actors inspire me to act. That's not the answer you're looking for. But actors <laughs> like, 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 um, sometimes you're watching a movie and you're like, well, this guy's not the main character, but he's a real man. Well, the Christopher Walken? You know, I always get the Christopher Walken roles, and I'm totally down for it. I'm totally fine with it, so... I'm not saying Christopher Walken is my inspiration, but I am saying he is my god and personal savior. So in a way, he's my inspiration, yeah. He's my enlightenment. Um, what made you want to act? Um, I get into... I don't know, it's one thing getting one person to laugh, it's another thing getting a whole... Uh, audience to laugh. That's a lot of fun. That's the most fun part. That, that last answer is really stupid, and I feel stupid for saying all the Christopher Walken stuff. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, that's all we have. Okay, sweet. Okay. Thank all right. Thank you. All right. Alrighty, so what is your name? My name is Brenda Williams. And what I am the director, the set designer, the costume designer, the lighting designer, the props master, I'm kind of the show without being on stage. <laughs> so what's... Um, I think my favorite thing was, uh, was casting the show. I cast it really well. Um, I've got some extremely talented kids that really, really wanted to be in the show. And, and actually, when I first started reading the show last year, I started thinking of very specific kids for it, and it's strange because almost all of them are in it. <laughs> Those initial, you know, thoughts that I had casting once. It's a it's a fun play. Uh, it appeals to the kids because it's got that kind of weird twist to it. It's uh, it's a comedy, but it. It involves two little old ladies murdering people, yeah. and uh, so even though it's it's dated, it's set in the 1940s, and uh, some of the comedy is a little different than what they're used to. The whole idea of these little old ladies just uh, really appealed to everybody. Yeah. Um. Let's see. My favorite thing about the play right now is seeing it come together. It's been in rehearsal for quite a while. Um, the set's just now getting put up and it's starting to really gel. And that's, that's really the exciting part is seeing it come to life and seeing uh, everybody start really enjoying themselves. Yeah. And what... Uh, 
I would have to say my favorite character is kind of a toss-up between the two crazy brothers. Um, I love the character of Teddy because he thinks he's Teddy Roosevelt and he's, he's not there at all, but he's so yeah. innocent and so sweet. And then I really like the character of Jonathan just because he is so evil, but he is totally gets his comeuppance throughout the whole show. If you could... Well, actually, I have been one of the characters. I was in okay. this show at the Pollard Theater back in the late 90s. And I played, I think I played Martha. I liked it, but I really wanted to be Abby. So, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right, well, that is all of the questions I have. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. I look forward to seeing it. Good.